What's up reefers? Welcome back to Ashes Reef and to my channel. Today's episode is going to be the 8 month update on the Red Sea Reefer 450. What's up guys? Welcome back again. As I said, this episode is going to be the 8 month update on the Red Sea Reefer 450. Uh, for 8 months, I'm very happy uh, the way how this tank has turned out. Uh, everything seems to be very happy, um, you know, including the SPS. They are all encrusting. Uh, they are all uh, showing good polyp extension as well. So tank seems to be uh, healthy, uh, at least what I can think. Uh, you know, uh, in terms of uh, fishes, uh, I'm still having my school of entias, as you guys can see. They are excellent. They are doing well. Um, it's hard to count, but I think I have around nine of them. I added a, ten, a school of 10 uh, liar tails, and I still have nine liar tails in there. So maybe just lost one, but uh, you know, um, still a great success, I would say, because uh, usually you end up with uh, very few. In terms of corals, the corals are doing all great. Uh, no, no issue whatsoever. The hammer garden is coming along well, as you guys can see. All the uh, the hammers have started showing, uh, you know, extended growth of uh, some more heads, including this uh, gold hammer right in front of you. Uh, just this morning, when the lights were off and uh, you know all the ten takers were inside, I saw it had like uh, probably uh, doubled in uh, sizes. I had. When I bought him, I had four heads, and now I think I saw around uh, seven to eight heads. So that's a great thing. Uh, the splash hammer on the uh, left-hand side is also doing excellent, no issue whatsoever. Uh, very happy. This was gifted to me by my friend, a local reefer up here in uh, Toronto. Uh, this one here, again, this is another Australian uh, splash hammer, and uh, he's been doing great as well, no issue whatsoever and uh, sure the yellow hammer at the bottom is also doing i think this is a wall hammer i was sold as a branching hammer but looks like it's a it's a wall hammer so uh, we'll see how it goes uh, the uh, baby browns mushroom uh, colony is always multiplying and uh, popping more and more heads funny how it is the heads actually come at the sand bed and then they, you know, uh, move wherever they want to go, settle down. Kind of helps me in um, in uh, fragging them. So, and you know, they are already attached to the sand. So I all I have to do is pick up the uh, the pebble to which the uh, mushroom is attached and glue it to a, a, a frag plug and put it into my frag tank. Well, that's a great uh, colony to have. Uh, it brings money back into my reef. Back here, it's my mini little Aiken garden going on. Uh, everybody looks very happy. They're all fluffed up. Seems like the flow and uh, uh, the light is perfect for these guys here. So no, no issues whatsoever. Happy, happy. Gorgonian is doing great. I just have one Gorgonian in my tank and he is doing excellent. No issue whatsoever. Of course, the frog spawns. Uh, you know, they are uh, doing excellent as well. Back there is the gold frog spawn and in the front is uh, just the uh, green uh, octa spawn, I believe. And then on the front here is uh, another, uh, you know, it's, it was called, sold as a tricolor. It has a yellow at the, on the inner side. So that's amazing. Very happy the way how things are turning out. On the SPS side, as you guys can see, uh, my Valida has already started to encrust and grow. Uh, down here is the uh, pink lemonade. Uh, not sure if you guys can see the polyp extension, but you know, uh, it's already encrusted and uh, the color is excellent. Uh, this is a no name acro that I bought it at the Niagara Coral Show. Then uh, down here on the right hand side is uh, the orange passion the reef raft orange passion and uh, its colors are amazing especially under the blues with those yellow polyps and the blue tips amazing amazing coloration this one is the, the jason fox uh, sun monty i believe uh, where the green and orange uh, bleeds into each other sorry 
my APIs and all my fishes just want to photo bomb and for some reason they know exactly which coral I'm focusing on and they will come right in front of it. This little tiny frag here is the little uh, red Ferrari and uh, this one is also doing great, no issue whatsoever. The reef raft polkaroo at the back is uh, growing and multiplying and the utter chaos zoas oh my god these guys are multiplying like crazy uh, look at the size of those uh, those uh, zoas they are like pallies and in the front here is a small little uh, shark tentacle goni garden going on and they are growing well as well so no issue whatsoever the chalice is great uh, the spice lemon fabia is doing great no issue uh, here is the pasta lepora with a yellow uh, hint inside uh, Amazing coral very hardy and it's already multiplying so very happy Up here is the needle in the haystack acro and it's also uh, Almost doubled in size from the time when I bought it from my friend uh, Red digitata was gifted again by my uh, friend a local reefer here and right beside it is uh, the anacropora from reef raft can't wait to see it's a very slow grower this guy is a very very slow grower but nonetheless it's hanging in there it's doing its thing and it's growing so amazing back here is my purple bonsai and the purple bonsai is doing excellent uh, there is uh, an acro crab that lives in there so it's doing excellent and of course on the top here is my reef raft holy grail acro this acro has colored up in the past week or so since the time when I moved him on this spot which is highlight it used to be on this island right here if you can see that uh, epoxy putty there and you know the, uh, the I think the power number over here is not that strong but definitely as as soon as I moved him here he just started coloring up and encrusting oh my god like that's within a week I've never seen an acro changing color that fast so amazing coral and can't wait to see how this one turns out. This one is uh, the birthday cake acro that was sold to me. Um, and then yeah, the, the, uh, the, I think the yellow millie at the back there is the tort. And some more acros, the pastelopora, uh, the purple pastelopora I believe. And for some reason my uh, red planet, uh, this guy here, it's still doing its thing. Uh, I thought it's dead, but no, it's actually coming back and uh, I can't wait till it reaches its potential. The green Neptia is excellent. And of course my prized possession, the uh, rainbow trachyphilia. He is very happy multiplying as well, so amazing. At the back there is another uh, trachyphilia. This one is from Indonesia. It's a rainbow as well and it's a small one. And down here what I have going on is a small little uh, uh, mushroom garden if you uh, allow me uh, this is a recordia the orange uh, the uh, golden and purple base then this one here is uh, I believe the uh, sun-kissed bounce mushrooms and right beside it is the interstellar uh, mushroom and it's already popping babies so I'm very happy same thing with the sun kiss I bought it as a single from my friend he gifted to me and I can see the second one has already split this one here is a beautiful, beautiful recordia with uh, blue, yellow, and red. And this guy here is, uh, you know, green and uh, green base and red uh, mushroom as well. So those, every, you know, the LPSs are doing excellent as well. And the SPS. So definitely things are uh, working out in this tank. Uh, here is my frag of uh, Walt Disney and it is already grown. It's uh, doubled in size now. And this guy here, right here is the pink Cadillac colony. It's uh, This colony has actually multiplied uh, in its size as well, times two uh, pretty much. At the back there on the right hand side is uh, the uh, Miyagi tort. And uh, so this is a tort as well. And this guy here is a tort as well in the middle. It will be interesting to see how the coloration on this guy and this guy uh, come out to be. This guy has more uh, deep green with purple tips, but we'll see how it grows into. In the front here is my ultra short, uh, strawberry shortcake. And this guy here is a no name acro as well. 
Back there on the right hand side on the top the single stick there is uh, the green slimer and this one is my season grilling mounting. It's getting stung by my torch but it doesn't mind uh, as far as the stings on this side. It's already growing on the other side and I want it to grow on the back side to fill up that area so I'm okay with that. The torches are excellent. All the torches, the gold torch, uh, the uh, purple with uh, peach color torch, the green torch and the kryptonite torch as well as uh, the uh, the Indonesian uh, I think it's called uh, Favia torch I forgot the name my bad but they are all doing great they are all excellent they are all happy uh, you know doing their things and here is my small little uh, zoa garden going on and they are multiplying as well so Overall, the tank is excellent. The tank has, uh, you know, uh, I cannot complain. It's been uh, eight months of nothing but, I think, uh, success, uh, especially with the growth, the way how things have uh, grown. And uh, I cannot complain. Uh, the only change that I have made is I switched my supplements from two part to the Aqua Forest components one, two, and three plus and i couldn't be more happier uh the parameters are rock solid stable uh and uh, you know no swings whatsoever so i'm very happy with the way how uh, this tank is coming up and uh, only time will tell once uh, those sps frags starts to take over the top area so that's pretty much it guys if you guys have uh, uh, any comments uh, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe as well as if you guys have any questions please feel free to uh, put in the comment section below and i will try my level best to answer the uh, questions and uh, yeah i mean that's pretty much it guys uh, happy reefing peace take care